Okay, so for those of you that are curious about reading um, a code, let's just say that you were to get a check engine light. This scooter has a really nice feature, which is it allows you to pull your codes right on your dash with no extra tools needed in real time. So to do that, all you're gonna do, there's two buttons, you're gonna hold down your right button for three seconds. One, two, three. And if you had a code, it would show here under DTC code. So that's diagnostic troubleshooting codes, DTC stored in this ECU. You'll show that as zero. If the check engine light was on, this would show no on. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the right button again. All right, that's gonna toggle you through the menu. And then you're gonna hit the left button one time. And that's actually gonna pull up your codes menu. And you'll see that this scooter, it's, it's good. So there's no codes that have been stored. But if there were, they would be listed here. And you'd have a list of what they are. And with that information, you could call the, you know, your shop and let them know what the codes are. And they could help you troubleshoot further. So that's really nice. Also, if you want to reset your trip menu, you can do that if you want to adjust the time. This is the exact same place to do both of those. You'd hit the right button again to go down. I'm sorry. One more time here. Okay. Hit left. And then you would go down if you wanted to clear it, for example. Um, uh, it's hard to see online, but you could you could reset that there if you so wanted. You can adjust the time, mileage into kilometers, things like that, and then hit exit. So anyway, that's how you adjust your trip reset. That is how you adjust your clock, and that is how you pull your codes. All right there on the dash in real time.